Previously on Project Runway All Stars. You are the one that I wanted to see again. This is your shot at redemption. Oh my God! Reinvent the look that got you eliminated. The trauma. This is Silk. Get out of the style. I haven't done a lot of sewing. Remember that twist I mentioned? This season, there is no immunity. What? Uh, Another heart attack. Seriously? No. The winner is. Congratulations, King. Ten thousand dollars. No. Victor, Nora, and Karasan, you receive the lowest scores. Nora, I'm sorry, you're out. Fashion designer Christian Siriano, journalist Elaine Welteroff, fashion designer Brandon Maxwell, and editor in chief of Elle magazine Nina Garcia are looking for America's next great fashion designer. At stake for the winner, a quarter of a million dollars supplied by Pilot Friction Erasable Pens, a feature in Elle magazine, and a career-changing mentorship with the Council of Fashion Designers of America. This is Project Runway All-Stars. All right, guys. It's time to leave the past behind. Thank, Thank you, God. God. You're taking a little field trip tomorrow. Yeah. I'm listening. So I'm going to send Vance to your hotel in the morning. Meet me at Rockefeller Plaza first thing. Mm. Oh, oh, shit. Oh, okay. And it's going to be a wild one. Oh. Well, thank yeah. you for that. Thank thank you. Good night. Can we go These work out this morning? Cameras everywhere. Enjoy. I wonder what's happening. What is this? Oh my god. Good morning, boys and girls. I mean, designers. Welcome to our world of toys, FAO Schwartz. Christian is waiting for you inside. You look great. It's amazing. <laughs> Welcome to the iconic FAO Shorts. Yay! It is time for Project Runway's Most Feared. Oh, oh, most revered oh, and famed way to torture designers. Yes. Mm. The yeah. Unconventional Materials Challenge. <laughs> okay, I'm happy now. Fun and whimsy are widespread across runways everywhere now. Tom Brown doing teddy bear top hat in Milan. Gucci models were sporting gremlin bags and skirts. And Moschino just sent models down the runway in pool floats. Your Unconventional Materials Challenge is to create whimsical runway looks from toys. <laughs> All the toys you see here. This is a two-day challenge. Yes! Oh! Hallelujah. The judges are not going to want to see a whole dress made out of stuffed animals. That's the fabric. That's not impressing anybody. You have 45 minutes to shop. Okay. And you each get $2,000. Yeah! This challenge is really about creating new textiles and, like, leaning into your ingenuity, which you all can do. Yes. Now for your models. Okay, grab a bear. Cute. Oh my God. Those are your models. Oh wow. Jeez. Oh God. Oh my God. Oh, that was who I had. Back to your spots. Back to your spots. Back to your spots. Back to your spots. All right, designers, you'll have sketch time when you get back to the workroom. Okay, go. This is insane. Fairy tales, wonderful. What do you 
getting? Uh, kind of red and black and white stuff. I'm what else is a new? Primary color. Listen. Ah, <sighs> unconventional again. Let's go back to season 19. I went home on this challenge. But this time is different, though. Baby, this is my store. I already know. As a kid, I love toys. But growing up in Haiti, I've never really got them. People are trying to survive. OK, let's just put it that way. But first time in the United States, my mom was just showing me around. And you know, she took me to her food stores. I was still young. And I thought it was the most magical place. I would like to buy this little girl's dress. It's probably one of my favorite places in New York. I feel like my hoo haws out. I've always been interested in fashion. I've always been a high maintenance queen. My favorite thing to do as a kid was dress up. I'm talking like my great great grandmother's furs with the satin gloves. Like, I wanted the good stuff. To me, whimsy is making sure that this thing is fun and playful. Look how cute this is. <laughs> is it worth $20 just for the pom-pom? I mean... OK, let's just treat ourselves. Carathon, what are you getting? Oh, all these little colorful little macaroons? Yeah, macaroons. Wow, look at these. You cannot be getting... <laughs> you don't need any more of these. You don't know that. I don't know that. That's a lot. You've had so many of these. I had five. What if I need seven? <laughs> One of the coolest parties that I ever had when I was a kid, I think I was probably like eight years old, my mom bought a bunch of blank teddy bears from the dollar store, and then she and a couple friends helped us make our own customized teddy bears. And it was so cool. I gotta say, that was one of the things that really got me going as a designer, seeing them work. If I've made clothing for teddy bears, I'm sure I can make clothing out of teddy bears. I love a toy store. I'm getting two. How much are they? 60 bucks. Thank you. What are these? I'm picking up a lot of little pieces because I want to create my own textile. So that's cool. Oh, yeah, those are mine. Rami, what are these? Those are kites. Kites? Yeah. Cool. Look at Kane. 10 minutes. If all of you send out plushy teddy bear thingies and umbrella dresses, I'm going to lose it. Oh, have this for my boy at home. When I see all the toys, it makes me feel I wish my baby were here. I kind of draw inspiration from the moments that I had with my baby with this challenge. I'm done shopping for the challenge. I'm shopping for my boy now. Um, I don't know. Do I have a game plan? The one thing that is not exciting to me is unconventional, like toys. In the real world, that unconventional stuff does not exist. So my only game plan is to spend all the money that they give us so I have options. I'll figure it out. All right, designers. You better hurry up. You have four minutes. That's fun. Ah! It is a little getting hot in here. It is chaos in line. Ah! I'm gonna take my head off. Hey! All right, designers, that's time. That's it. You need to be in line, checking out. Thanks for having me. Oh, you're welcome. I'll see you soon. We'll have a lunch. Fabulous. This is gonna be fun. Mm. Back, yeah. back, 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 back again. Okay. Oh. This animal is crying over there. Vector. It's like a creepy toy sale. I'm really psyched about these. My cool text. My bitch is from the future. So I think I'm going with like a red queen look. All cards, the whole thing. I love it. The theme I'm going with is Space Jam Glam. A lot of times people hear whimsical and go colorful. I want my girl to go the opposite route with a futuristic feel. In my head, I see a top with exaggerated shoulders and some beadwork and also a skirt. Mirror, mirror on the wall. Who's the winner of it all? <laughs> Me. 
I feel like the unconventional challenge shows you who you are. It really brings out that creativity in you. I got some rakes. Let me do, let me know if you don't use these. Balls. The outfit I'm trying to make is a short crop jacket made out of the stuffings of a toy piano with a gaucho kind of pant. The one thing I do remember from my childhood is that I took piano lessons. My parents wanted us to have culture and learn things when we came to America. So grabbing the piano was actually a homage to my childhood. My parents were really, you know, sacrificing for me and my siblings. I have a little love and hate relationship with unconventional. It's the unconventional materials challenge. If I were a judge, I might put you in the bottom. But I don't just be giving up on stuff. I don't, I don't do that. I'm going to do unconventional, but I have the right not to like it. Where did the batteries go? This is so chaotic over here. No, this is gonna take forever. Okay, whatever, I'm over it. What are you doing? I am making a chain skirt out of H's and other various things. This is my... This is your jam? This is my jam. So I got this idea for a really cool hip situation. I purchased some children's umbrellas that are gonna make this perfect geometric hip line that's so modern and couture right now. It's gonna be adorbs, can't wait. I cannot rest on my laurels. I won last week, which is huge, but it's a little crazy that there's no immunity. But this season, one minute you can be on top and the next minute you can be going home. What I need to figure out is if I can get these beasts out. Coming up, let's go. Stress is real, ain't it? Uh, this is quite aggressive. It is. What the? It's not telling me a story. It's not giving me a clear point of view. I don't know why you did it. <laughs> You're killing it. <laughs> Hi, everybody. Hey. Oh. How are you? Hey, Christian. Good. Are we filled with joy? Yeah. Yes, we are. Oh, yeah. You yes. know it. Hi, Kane. Hello, sir. How are you? You have a whole dress already draped. Well, I've got big ideas. She's going to start out and be like a princess. OK. And so she will reveal the badass queen bitch. I am making this gorgeous black and white strapless mermaid gown with these sculptural hips. And then I am going to make these panda bears like a fox doll that's really cool. This is a lot of work. I mean, I'm real fast. I know, okay. but. I'm going to push it tonight. I'm going to push it real hard and figure out what I can do. Good okay. <laughs> Mila, you got unicorns. And I got puzzles. And puzzles. So <laughs> I'm going to make a skirt, and it's going to be like this fabrication. This whole skirt? Mm-hmm. I'm making a skirt out of beautiful jigsaw puzzle tiles that look like a painting. The inspiration behind this look is magic. What's the top? The top is going to be a fur hoodie. And then... Are you sure? Too much. It's not as, like, sophisticated as I feel like your clothes are. If this were 13 years ago, I don't think I would have picked plush unicorns as my material. In season seven, I chose black and white corrugated plastic paint tray liners. That's on brand with who I am. But you know, there's another s side of me that's developed in the last 13 years that is softer. And I think that that's why I want to try something new. If you can make it feel really new and modern, it'll be exciting. Hey. Brittany. Hey. I see your tea party over here. Yes. Tea party smashing the mosaic. That's what I thought for like the bodice and kind of make it like really intricate, make it look like beading, and then have the skirt just be insanely full. No, you can't just use this fabric. The tent. But it just looks like fabric. Like out twisted it. or turned or stitched and rose and cut up, and you've got to show that it's something else in a way. Okay, I will. I'll push it. Bye. See ya. Fabio. Hey. You can't just do a card dress. Why not? That is so easy. You gotta do something to these cards, fold them, mold them, maybe they intertwine. That's what I mean. Got it. 
Wow. Maybe a little too dry for me. Could have used a little lube, but I guess what he's saying makes sense. I'm gonna rethink what's gonna happen with these cards because I'm still gonna use the cards. Hi. You have the most stuff, I think. Do I? Yes. So the idea is to kind of create a collage on a fitted dress. You've got dragons. I do I got dragons. And then I have these from the kites as well. I mean, these are kind of fabulous. <laughs> Growing up in Palestine, kites for me were a sign of like joy and hope. When you look at a kite, you always have your head up high and you're looking up to the sky. As a kid who lost their mother at the age of five, living under military aggression and curfews and dark times, really. For me, it's symbolic of keeping your head up and, and looking for the brighter side of things. I may use them mm -hmm. as almost like a sleeve detail. If you need it, like edit yourself a little bit. Yeah. Can't wait to see. Me too. Sorry, <laughs> let me turn it off. And, sorry, what is that? Dinosaur. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> sorry. All right, let's go. These are just heads. This is quite aggressive. It is, I, and I'm gonna use them. Is that what we're doing? Maybe. No, you're not. Let me show you the sketch because I think. <laughs> what? No, please. No, I, yeah, I like it, I like okay, it. Okay, okay. I like it. My idea is to make a trench coat. Mm -hmm. so I wanted to do a version of that, but mm -hmm. whimsical. Mm -hmm. I wanna bring like the campiness a little bit. Mm -hmm. What's the rest? Originally, I wanted to use these. Okay, what are these? The little boomerangs? Yeah, they're boomerangs. They like. Nice. Yeah, they really work. No, you have to go like this. Why? Oh, <laughs> you have to go straight. Let me do it. Like that. Oh, fabulous. <laughs> I've been doing that all day. Yeah, me too. So I think this is your chance. Can't be, but still really cool fashion. I think yeah. that is going to excite them. Okay, yes. You know? Good luck. Thank you. <laughs> Yes. I'm coming to you because that's looking fabulous. Thank you. What are you making? I am thinking about making a raincoat. Tell me everything. Boomerang. Oh. I'm trying to marry the toy with my style, so that's why I decided to go with a hood. This is a teddy bear. I'm using a wooden pepperoni pizza. Pepper? Oh, sure. Yeah, so I had yeah. to drill <laughs> holes in it. Yeah. What can be the base? Sure. Mixed with some other stuff, mm. but I haven't figured that out yet. Because the whole thing couldn't be this? I don't want it to look all like this. Because mm. that's very innovative, very cool. I don't know yet. Growing up, did you like toys or play with toys? Uh, growing up, I was a tomboy. And plus, I have 10 siblings, so... Wow! You yeah. get a toy in the house, it lasts two days, and there's no more. No, yeah, you never so see it again. We didn't really need toys. Use your yeah. 10 people to pick on. Yeah. Just fight. Fight with. Yeah, that's kind of fun. Absolutely. Be a noisy runway, I know that. <laughs> like. Hello. Hi, sir. How are you? I'm. Stuff everywhere. Finding yourself here? Yeah. Where I'm from, there's no such thing as whimsical. So. In Haiti, we don't have fairy tales. It's reality. If you want fairy dust and shit, I'm the wrong guy. But, but there's, there's, there's joy. A, there's joy. Um, the art, music. Yes. My mind went streetwear. Cool. So I took a bunch of pianos, which are over there. My version of whimsical would be, you know, what makes us happy, which is a culture of music, of food, the art. I am going to make her pants out of these. The painting, fabulous, amazing. Come back to my office. Okay. <clears throat> the chair is gonna be one of the sleeves. The chair is one of the sleeves? Oh, and the baby blanket is the other sleeve. There. You're putting so much stuff. This is very graphic and cool. Maybe the chair different. would be dead, yeah. and then we just use this for the sleeve. See how we work Look like when us. we're together? Look at that, you wanna hug? Oh. There you go. Good luck. Now get out of my house. Bye. -bye. All right, designers, have fun with the toys. Thank you. Thank Later, you. Christian. Bye, Christian. Oh, I think I have a really good idea. Yeah? I'm going to use this as my skirt. Mm-hmm. And I'm going to cut these into, like, little strips and collect them and just make it, like, cotton candy. Mm-hmm. When you have only, like, three, obviously it doesn't look that good. But when that whole thing's oh, full... Oh, no. I know what you mean. What? Get your shit together. Stress is real, ain't it? There's no joy over here, okay? What about the wonder? 
wonder if I'm going to finish. Yeah. <laughs> hey, guys, that's time. Let's go home. No toying around. <laughs> no tart. I need my emotional support. Here you go. The last one. Well, the last one who's not taken apart in a strange way. Coming up. Brittany. What? Did any of the little piggies go to the market? What? Did any of the little piggies go to the market? You said what? Damn! Uh, you're, you're facing that way, I damn it! Don't scream at me! So how do you feel? I reworked my, my talk. Okay, like, after fine. Christian's critique of it, and I want it to feel kind of magical, but still feel, like, ready to wear. How are you guys feeling, though? Do you think you're going to be ready at, for the model uh, fittings to fit something? Uh, no. No? Uh, no. Nah. You should be ready to go on the runway. Yeah. That's it. I'm ready to get started, like, to get back Same, in. Because I feel like today is going to go by really fast. Okay, let's go! Let's hop to it. Oh, Oh my God. Y'all, this room needs Jesus. It needs more than that. So much stuff everywhere. The fingers are burning. Talk. Fabio and Brittany seem a little stressed. They are going glue gun hard, which to me is usually not a unconventional win, but they have committed. I think a truly good unconventional look doesn't need a glue gun. Here, look, because I'm really proud of this. I want to, I'm going to do a proper, like a waistband. Oh, I think it's going to be a perfect length. If you do the elastic, like pretty much the size of her waist, when she put it on, you will see the elastic. Exactly. Problem solving on steroids. That's what Project Runway is. <laughs> hey, do you, think, do you think this looks okay, this texture? Like, I want to make the whole body like this. Yeah. My you sketch. Have because if you get half done, and then only half is done, and you run out, you're screwed. I'm going to have to whore myself around to find enough. Yeah. To complete the look, it's my mission to find as many boomerangs as I can. Do you have this color? Not that color. You want this? Yeah, I would love them. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. It's a little bit of a suspense for me because I don't know if I'm going to get them in my hand. If Kato could just give me half of her yellow wings, I will have more than enough. Yeah. Victor, are you using those little piggies or no? No. Oh, so I can have them, for sure. Yeah. Oh, perfect. Brittany. <laughs> what? Did any of the little piggies go to the market? What? Did any of the little piggies go to the market? <laughs> all, yeah, all of them are going to the market. We're all going to the market. My girl's going to be a little late because she's going to have to come from the future to meet up with y'all. You said what? My girl. Damn. Uh, you're, uh, you're facing that way, I damn it. Know, damn Don't scream at me. Woo! That's going to be in commercials next on Project oh, Runway. Right. <laughs> Hi, everybody. Hi, Christian. How's it going? Hi, Christian. Everyone feeling whimsical? Whimsical. Um, who wants the model? Me. You need them? Yes. Yeah. Do. Bad. Yeah. Here they come. Woo. Awesome. I just want it to be like fun. Playful. Playful, yeah. yeah. So all this is from like inside of a piano. No way. Right? Since we're coming off a win, we gotta we gotta really bring it. <laughs> Let's try this on first. It's gonna be a little cold. Honey, have you seen inside? <laughs> this is so cool. It's all gonna be cards. Oh, the placement is perfect. Oh my god, this is perfect! What the if you walk, does it feel better? Better, right? Okay, cool, cool. Anna? Mm-hmm. What is this? This is the back from the piano. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. And she will have a hat and also a baby swimming flow and a pacifier. What? Uh-huh. Why? Yeah, that's... She's a baby? Yes. Really? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Oh my god, that's my baby's moment. Okay. Yes. Um. Why are you crying? No. 
This is not crying. You're asking the baby. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, Anna, let's talk about a few things okay. real quick. Come here, come here. Okay. This gray dress. Uh-huh. You can't show that. It's it's a wrinkled mask. They'll they'll tear you apart. This gray dress. Uh-huh. Anna, you can't show that. It's it's a wrinkled mask. You are dark and sexy and glamorous. Those are your clothes and avant-garde, and that's what you should do here. Okay. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> oh. I gotta paint it. I gotta tape it. You're gonna have a little red crossover jacket that you can do a reveal and throw on the ground, okay? And this will have the hood. And then I do still want to add this to my skirt, too. That's dope, but you can't see. It's okay. I don't know. <laughs> you have to see. It was such a pleasure. Thank you. All right. All right, designers. Tomorrow, it's runway day. Love it. Yay! Happens quick. Good luck. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Oh, okay. Bye. Thanks, Chris Chan. Bye, guys. I kind of want this for myself. OK, let's go. What are you using now? A dress with the packs for Ona. Nice. Yeah. Ruffles? Ruffles, definitely. I changed my design immediately. I'm adding ruffle texture on top of the body to bring some fairy tale kind of energy. You better work, honey. And let's look, there's no toys there at all. How's it going? These are macaroons. They're macaroons. Why did it look like like a textured leather almost? Because it is, it's rubber. You don't have enough? They really need cartels. At this point, I don't have enough yellow boomerangs. Kato has some boomerangs, but I don't know if I'm going to get them in my hand. When we were in All Stars previously, Kato and I were very competitive against each other, and it, it wasn't a, a good feeling. Kato is, look, you could call it a curtain. Where's the design? Congratulations, babe. Oh, you didn't think I was going to win? I am in big trouble. I don't have enough to go all the way up. So at this point, I'm kind of counting only on Kato. Maybe if she doesn't use them, maybe I'll, I'll use hers. Take the rest of the yellow. Are you sure? Oh, I didn't want to, like... Yeah, take it. Thank you. Let me give you these. Thank you. Last time, I think I was probably a little too competitive. You know what I mean? Yeah. I was definitely immature, and I'm sorry. I, after that season, I left home, and I thought of you a lot. Aww. I had to, like, air that out eventually. It takes a lot for anyone to admit when they're in the wrong. Much respect to him for just saying sorry. I appreciate that, Victor. Look at this healing energy we got in this room right now. <laughs> Bring the wonder. Bring the whimsy. I'm stressed. Why are you stressed? The back looks so cool. Mm-hmm. I have a hood, I have shoulders. I just gotta put a body on it. If it took me that long to do that piece, I'm just gonna come up with something else for the body, quickly. I have this piano, plasticky fabric that I'm gonna use as a base, but it's, it's simple math equations. Am I being realistic and am I gonna have enough time to finish? You guys, 10 minutes left. No. Where are you going? He's gonna go and spray it. Come on, baby. Don't the mosaic part. Yay! It looks so good. This ain't the jam right now. With three minutes left in the work room, you figure out a way to make things. <laughs> Burn your finger. Faster. One last time for the road. <laughs> All right, everybody. It's time. Oh, we have so much really? to do. We're done for the day. All right. Yes, it's time. I know. Let's go. Let go. Ah, right. You're not a hunchback. Oh my God, it's magneted to me. Ooh, it's so expensive. Cute. 
the night before the runway of the unconventional materials in every single season is always a really, really hard night. So the fact that we get to go to a wine bar, decompress with each other, it's so needed. Oh, it's toasty in here. Yeah. yeah. It's very emotional. Do you still know me? But it is so nice to see his face, he see his smile. I just want to enjoy every second. Bye-bye. Are you nervous? You think we're going to have enough time to finish everything? No, I don't really get nervous, but... <laughs> How about you? Me? I'm trying to make this fabulous coat. <laughs> the hood is awesome. Thank you. Mm -hmm. And um, just hoping that, you know, I'll have enough time to finish everything by yeah. tomorrow. Oh, I called my boy! And I did another cry! Yeah. <laughs> I can cry now, but I don't want to cry. Coming up? Your model has to be dressed in like eight minutes. No immunity. What I want to know from you is why not try? Hey, yeah, yeah. Hi, darling. Did you miss us? Oof. You better work. You better work. Girl, I'm working. I am working. <laughs> I still have to make a top. My intention is to embrace the organic aspect of it, kind of freestyle it on the mannequin. But now I'm realizing that there is just no time for troubleshooting. I have to be so careful, like every time you turn something, because it's all paper and plastic. For the shoulder ruffle detail, I'm going to make it look modern and fresh by making it off shoulder. It's not covered up, it's revealing, and it's sexy and fun and young. Hi, everybody. Hello. Hello. Hi. Wow, lots of progress. Yeah. Yeah. Woo. <laughs> Gather around for me. I want to take a minute to remind you all what we're playing for here the grand prize. Quarter of a million dollars supplied by Pilot Friction Erasable Pens, which you guys have been using for sketching and erasing. Yes, they're fabulous. Right? A feature in Elle magazine. We. Work, work, work. And a career changing mentorship with the CFDA. Mm. Also, we added yes. in six months of representation from Agentry PR. Oh. Um, I've had the opportunity to have PR in the past. It's expensive. I'm glad I don't have to take it out of my 250, because yeah, I'm gonna win. So carry that nine, girl, carry that nine. All right, designers, here come the models. Woo! Awesome. Hi. Hi. Good morning. It's so crunchy. <laughs> <laughs> to do. Okay, what we're gonna do, we're going to join them neck to butt, just <laughs> like that. Wow. We need a little something. I'm spray painting the panda's eyes. This is what I've gotta do to really get this like villain aspect across. Like that is the whimsical part of my story. Kara Song. Yes. I've got this whole movie written for my character, okay? Okay. She's the queen of the pandas. Guess what her name is? What? Pandemonium. Oh! Are we ready? <laughs> to finish this look, I have to use closures from a wooden toy to act as buttons, I guess, on the garment. I'm doing my best. I am doing my best. Designers, when you're ready, take your
your model to the Bobby Brown Makeup Studio and the Tresme Hair Salon. Make it flat as possible. It don't even matter. I would love some iridescence okay. in her face, like around her eyes. We are doing something very, like, girly. I would go glam. Okay. We're going to go into a little bit of a deeper liner. Mila, look how much lining is coming through. Walk, Dee Dee. Show her. I mean, I knew it was going to come through somewhat. I mean, if you love it. Kane. Yep. Your model has to be dressed in like eight minutes. Yes, sir. She hasn't even tried it on. <laughs> no immunity. Oh, trust me, I know. Just saying. <laughs> Hester, does yeah. that little thing come off? Yes. It snaps off and she can toss it. I don't know if it's so whimsical. It's kind of dark. Dark, there's dark whimsy. Oh, one more ruffle. This ruffle is, is very time consuming. There's no time to think, even for a second. My body is shutting down. Kane, if you don't put her in this in a minute, I'm gonna be mad. See, just in time, Christian. Wait, okay. this time yeah. Is oh. So it's down to the wire. I've got like two minutes to finish the entire mermaid hem of the dress. I'm literally cutting around this hem so fast. All right, let's go. We're leaving. Designers, one minute. All right, that's it. Designers, take your seats. Let's start the show. It's gonna be fabulous. Hello, designers. Hello. I have seen it all when it comes to unconventional materials in this challenge. So I really hope you guys brought your wow factor. There's some wow. Yeah. This is where you really know, in my mind, who's technically the greatest. So this is always really fun to watch, and I'm excited. Please meet your guest judge. CEO and founder of global fashion brand Allison Olivia. Ooh. Designer Stacey yeah. Vendette. Hey, everybody. Hey, girl, hey. Oh, my goodness. Everyone knows of Allison Olivia. They have gorgeous women's clothing. It's a huge brand, and Brittany wears a ton of it. So excited to be judging this challenge because I love all things whimsy. We can't wait to see how you brought these toys to life. <laughs> Let's start the show. Yeah. My model looks so good in my designs. The paillettes look a little bit different. I cannot. I I'm upset. It's really cool to see something that is colorful that I never usually do that much. Like, what even are those things? I was trying to figure that out. The initial design, I wanted to be more overlaid on top of each other, but I think it's looking good. Unconventional is a very tough challenge. To see a completed look coming down this runway that actually speaks to whimsy, but at the same time, is a fashion forward shape. I feel like I hit all of the marks with this. I am super happy about it. It could have gone wrong in so many ways. As my look walked on the runway, I died and went to unconventional heaven. What? How? from not having any toys as a kid to creating my own is bringing me so much joy. I would buy that jacket. I would wear the whole outfit. <laughs> really did an excellent, unconventional look. Everything is good. Magnets are staying in place. Toys are secured. 
not a stitch of it is expected, and it also comes together like an actual wearable garment. I am just loving how it turned out. It is very hard to sew this material, but I'm glad I took the risk because it paid off. I think it's a very strong design, very strong vision. I just hope the judges can understand this is my whimsy. What type of toy would that be? I don't know. My look is completely finished. I love the way it's moving and walking. It's totally wearable. It's so fun. I love it. I think I did a great job. I love the fact that it's completed with a zipper and not sewn in or glued on. I'm really happy with it. I'm really proud of myself. I have no concerns. It's a roller coaster. in a colorful direction. I wanted to be opposite and go in a dark, whimsical direction. The wings are winging, and I love that I'm pushing it with the textures that I've created. I'm feeling pretty whimsical about my look. She looks like she just came from the future. The shoulders, I love it. I would wear that. could just like cry right now. The dress is perfect. You would never know that that is shredded tint and teacup. I'm pleased. Ooh. This look could probably be in one of my movies, for sure. Now that I know that sewing is like riding a bike, you are back in it. You can do it. This is just the tip of what I can create. I like the dog bag. I mean, iconic. I'm just so happy. I'm not going to sit here and tell you, oh my God, this was the best thing I've ever done in my life. It's not, but I'm okay with it. I'm not mad at it, and I'm not in love with it. I'm just hoping to be safe. It is me, but it's not me. I see a lot of different colors that are interesting. I see the flounce that's moving around. I mean, I don't use plastic to make dresses. But I think creating a textile, that thought process does represent me because it's about having a unique approach in the creative part of something that kind of gives me a unique angle as a designer in this competition. I like the way my skirt has movement, feels whimsical. I am proud of my fabrication. Given more time, I could have executed this look better. I was trying to color outside the line. We've got the drama of the cape, the hood. This girl is about to allure you to get what she wants. About to have a reveal, Nina, I can feel it. Here it comes. Oh, that's cute. And it's a fashion show, so I've got to create some drama and some special moments on that runway. I also kind of even want the yes. designers to be a little surprised. Definitely a whimsical moment. This is the best unconventional challenge we've ever had, for sure. Thank you. Designers, what a fantastic show. It was like FAO iconic. Thank you. Thank you. You all delivered. 
One of you will be the winner, and one of you will be out. We've scored your designs. Fabio, Carasan, Hester, Anna, Vishmi, and Koto. You are all in. Congratulations. Thank you. Good luck. She did say my name, right? We can breathe. Yeah. It's awesome. Yeah. OK, here we are. Congratulations. This is two first challenges. The seven of you had the highest and the lowest scores. One of you will be the winner, and one of you will be out. All right. We're going to start with one of our favorite looks of the night. Let's bring out the model. All right, Praje. You went home during the unconventional materials challenge last time. And now, how are you feeling? When I first came to this country, the first place I went was Air Force Choice, and I was blown my mind. Growing up as a kid, I never really had much toys to play with. So in my head, I wanted to create my own kind of toy rock star it girl. So that's why I went with the bass is a piano. This is the baby floor toy. And then, of course, I had to go and create an entire painting over that and turn this into a puffer. Wait, did you use the actual material? Yes. That's very impressive. And then you can take it off. I, I love it. I absolutely loved it. Thank you. It's cool. It's giving street style streetwear, which is what you're all about. I hope you feel proud of yourself. This is a full circle moment, knowing that this was the first store that you ever visited when you came to New York. And I think this is what this challenge is all about. So I'm really, really impressed. Thank you, Praje. Jessica, you can leave the runway. Shall we go for another one of our highest scores of the evening? Get the model out here. Hello, darling. Hi, Kane. Hello. Tell us about your look. Well, I always thought about my favorite Disney movies where there's always an evil villain that disguises herself as someone sweet. You have the evil queen pandemonium. I wanted to do something really modern and sculptural, so I also used the piano, but I cut and sewed all of these chevron strips. I loved it as soon as it came out. That's a very hard material to work with. The way that they met up just so perfectly, I think that you really delivered on that. Thank you. To create something this fitted and this you know, sort of beautifully constructed out of those materials is not easy. The humor of the pandas, of the bleeding eyes, I thought that was full of joy, and I thought it was incredibly creative. The bleeding panda filled you with joy. It did, that because it so was so dark. humorous. <laughs> Thank you, Kane. OK, next, we're going to look at one of our lowest scores of the night. Let's get the model out here. Mila, tell us about your look. For the top, I used about eight unicorns <laughs> and gutted them. And I decided I wanted to use a jigsaw puzzle to make a skirt. So I linked all the pieces together. I love the fact that this had a wonderful movement. My problem with this outfit, it's not telling me a story. It's not giving me a clear point of view. I don't know why you did it. What was the point of view? Fantasy and magic. It sounds vague and it looks vague. I understand. There were elements that I like about this. I like that you put it with a chunky sneaker. I like the colorful bobble bracelet. It looks like you just didn't finish it and then you grabbed a bunch of things from the accessories wall to try to make it look like something. I think it was that this process was quite time consuming. I had this very clear vision of what I wanted for the skirt and I, I would have liked for it to be fuller. Thank you, Mila. OK, we'll get another one of our lowest scores of the evening. Hey, Rami, tell us about your look. I took the, the kite, and I wanted to create a color story from this first one that I saw, which was 
a butterfly shape of a kite. Yeah, it's a childhood memory, so it's like, it's deep for me, but... Uh... It's okay, take your time. I would see the kites like flying outside in the, in the sky and um, I would see all the colors out there and it was mesmerizing, I thought it was beautiful. You know, I love the splash of color in the middle of the sky. So that was my inspiration. I love the concept. I just think the construction of the dress fell short. It felt noisy, both literally and metaphorically. <sighs> I probably could have edited somewhat. Do you feel that it did not succeed? Or did you feel that when you sent it out on the runway that it was successful? I will stand now and honestly say I do love the color story. Yeah. Thank you, Rami. Lyris, you can leave the runway. <sighs> okay, the next look was one of our highest scores. Let's get the model out here. Breathe, girl. Yes, honey, I've been sweating from every crevice I got in this body, I swear. Tell us about your look. The bodice is um, tea kettles, uh, tea plates, and tea cups. It's really beautiful. This took most of my time. This is like 20 full panels on the tent. Just the fact that you were able to create that number of ruffles and construct such a beautiful skirt in that time is amazing. It definitely provides whimsy. When I saw it, I kind of smiled. I really was very impressed with your ruching technique. Thank you. <laughs> you had a strong point of view. Good job. Thanks, Brittany. Hey, darling. <laughs> Let's move on to one of our highest scores of the evening. Oh. Yes. Victor, how are you feeling? Oh my God, I'm like sweating <laughs> everywhere. Like, Tell us about your look. Um, I really wanted to use uh, this as a faux fur moment and the heads of the dinosaurs. I really wanted you guys to see where it came from. And then I love these these uh, boomerangs. Wow, oh, those are God, boomerangs? These are, wow. these are foam boomerangs. I thought those were yeah. like Polly Pocket spoons. Yeah. This is so fantastic. I was looking at this, trying to find a toy. The complete thought is so elevated and so chic. It's beautiful. I, I just hope you know that. It's flawless. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. I mean, you were able to take these stuffed dinosaurs and create a, a shoulder and a structure and a coat that looks like it could be on a Paris runway. Really great job. Thank you so much. Roberta, you can leave the runway. Thank you. Bye, baby. Okay, next we have one of our lowest scores of the night. Should we get the model out here? Laurence? Yes. Tell us about your look. Uh, I use some boomerangs, uh, fur, grommets. Um, this is part of a piano and some wooden pizza from a pizza box. Well, I do know you're a very good tailor. What I want to know from you is why not try? Because, no, I did try. But did you? I don't know. Why not try? Because, no, I did try. But did you? I don't know. Whimsical is not really part of my vocabulary. Why did you want to come back to Project Runway? I think I grew in the last six years I've been on the show. And um, just to show you what I've been doing. What would you say the story of this look was for you? I didn't really have a story. As I'm getting to know you for the first time, I'd love to have your work tell me something about you, even if the challenge takes you outside of your comfort zone. Yeah. I know you're a good designer. I see sort of where you were trying to do a suede leather, I don't know, but this was surprising. Yeah. Thank you, Laurence. Thank you. Maybe you can leave the runway. Thank you. 
Thank you, designers. We have a lot to discuss. You can leave the runway. Bye, everybody. Thank you. Bring it in. Rami, get your ass over here. This blew my mind. They made all of those looks with toys. Toys. <laughs> Wonderful. It really was. The entire show and, and display of creativity was so impressive. It doesn't bring me joy, but we have to come to this every single time. We must choose someone to go home. What do you think, Nina? Well, Rami, I didn't think his was the worst one. It was the bottom half of his work that did not feel OK. It was ill-fitting. It was really stiff on the bottom. Yeah. But I'm willing to fight for him to see another day because of his conviction and his story and his passion. There was a lot of thought that went into it. It just wasn't executed as wonderfully as it could have been. 100%. Rami's look was completely Com finished. Right. We may not have all loved it, but Mila, Laurence, there was like a shoulder that was done or a <laughs> breastplate that was done and everything right. else was like, let's just Hail Mary and see what happens tonight. Right. I was surprised at Laurent's attitude about her project. Yeah. I couldn't tell that she wanted to even be here. Sometimes you will meet people in the fashion business that have that attitude. It is part of fashion. What counts is your skill set. And the thing is, the look was kind of crickets, too. It's great what was going on in the back, but, you know, <laughs> the runway is facing forward. It was pretty bad. It was pretty bad, and you know what was also bad? Mila. The jigsaw puzzle, half-finished skirt with the lining hanging out, it lacked a story and whimsy. There was no clear point of view. And the ripped teddy bear top, I can't be positive about that. They both were not great. I'm really torn. All right, do we all agree who's going home tonight? Yes. Well, let's talk about our favorites. I loved how Brittany was able to construct a skirt that looked almost couture, turning pieces of a kid's tent into ruffles. I feel like the mosaic bodice just was really beautifully executed. It's impressive all the materials that she used. She did build all of those on top of muslin, which I think is just an easy way out. There's too many superstars up here for her to play it safe. I totally agree. Let's talk about Kane. I really appreciated the construction of that that dress. The way he used the umbrella pieces on the side and created that structure out of really unconventional materials, but it wasn't my favorite outfit. I thought it was fun. I thought it delivered on technique, showmanship, on storytelling. Is Kane number one on my list? No. You really, though, sold it to me. I mean, you were oh, the real estate agent that I, I was I I <laughs> was taking out a lean. Oh, now you want to like, blame fully. Nina. No. I was imagining you no. walking up the escalator to L with the bleeding with pandas <laughs> and the cape. You know what I mean? I had the whole vision in my mind. I still think it's wonderful. I just have another favorite. I think if we're talking about which outfit was the most creative, I'm really torn between two outfits. Victor and Praje, I know it was uh, pretty equal. Yeah. It's really tough. Victor's look is very Moschino. Praje's look is very Louis Vuitton right now. Yes. Like, they both Feels felt relevant. like they could yep. be on the runway. Mm -hmm. I really fell in love with Praje's story. To make pants in such unconventional materials fit that well was a challenge. He understands that his art is where it is, and he knows how to apply it. But also, Victor felt very much him, too, so that's why it's such a hard decision. I don't even know how he constructed those dinosaur shoulders. You could really see his expert tailoring capabilities. He just chose the loudest, most ridiculous things that if those weren't perfectly lined up, it would have been a total failure. It's really hard. They're both so good. So do we all agree on a winner? Yes. Yeah. OK, let's get them back out here. Welcome back to the runway. Kane, Brittany, Victor, and Praje. You all showed us whimsy in a way that brought us so much joy. I don't think any of us have smiled so much looking at the show. I know, same. <laughs> and you should all be really proud. Thank you. Thank you. Kane and Brittany, you are both in.
Congratulations, you. you two. It was an honor. Our Southern Bells. <laughs> yes, honey. You can go ahead and sashay off the runway, as Brandon said. <laughs> <laughs> we did it. The winner of tonight's challenge brought a huge smile to all of our faces. The look transcended the materials it was made of and delivered full on couture. The winner is. Victor. Thank you, thank you, thank you. How does it feel, Victor? I just want to say thank you so much for your advice, Les Challenge. It means a lot because I want to learn and I also want to better myself. We were all impressed, truly commendable. Thank so you. congratulations, you deserve this win. Thank you. And Victor, you also win a prize. What? The favorite toys of any designer, an industrial sewing machine, an industrial serger, what? A full-on singer suite of toys. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> thank you. You didn't that know that was so coming, much. did you? Oh my god! Thank you. <laughs> you have earned it, Praje. You are also in, and a special congratulations to both of you for really, thank really you. executing against this. We assignment. loved your outfit. It was so special and so creative. Thank you. Well done. Well done. <laughs> You won? No, girl. Victor. Come back, bitch. Mila, Laurence, and Rami. Unfortunately, unconventional materials were not your friend tonight. And you all missed the mark for different reasons. Rami. You are in. Thank you. You may leave the runway. Thanks. Thank you. For such a fun challenge, this is the part that's not fun for any of us. One of you will be in, and one of you will be out. Laurence, we didn't see you in this design, and ultimately, it just felt uninspired. Mila. Your skirt and top lacked a point of view and ultimately just didn't feel finished in the end. Both of you are very talented designers and that's why you're here right now. So please know this was very difficult for all of us, but one of you has to go home tonight. Laurence, you are in. Thank you for giving me a second chance. Please, please, show us who you are. I will. Thank you so much. Mila, I'm so sorry, but that means, unfortunately, tonight you are out. Mila, it was great to see you. I'm sorry this did not work out. I wish I could have given you a chance to see me get back on track. Thank you, Mila, for being here. You may leave the runway. Thanks for the experience. Leaving the runway feels really surreal. I really did think that I was going to be safe. I had a concept and I had a passion for it. Darling. Girl. 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 It just feels too early to go. Don't cry for me, baby. I am going yeah. to because I've looked up to you for a long time. Oh, I love you guys. You know how much I appreciate you. Just one more time. Hi. Mila, I think you're so talented, chic, sophisticated. This is like, you know, the most feared challenge. At least there was a little bit of joy in it, you know? For sure. But we'll see you again, I know. <laughs> it's really hard to leave that room full of awesome people. I wanted to come back to Project Runway All-Stars not only to push myself and make things again, but also just to show the world who I am. I don't really think I had enough time to do that. Next on Project Runway All-Stars. Oh my God. Long live the king. Oh we want you to create a formal gown fit for royalty. So we're dividing you up into teams of two. Ah. It is looking medieval, 
costume. Army! Given a little icy. I am kind of stumped of what to say. It feels wilted. It feels sad and heavy.